guys so welcome to Chinese 100 this is a long overdue video that I needed to do and it was the final review or my opinion on the first products the first very first ipsy bag that I got which was for the month of April which was beauty rocks was the theme this is the box or the bag rather that it came in so let's get to it oh and hopefully you guys can hear me all right because um, everybody decided to do their lawns right now, so you might be hearing weird noises. It's not my tummy that I'm starving. I'm doing this video over my lunch hour, but it's actually people mowing their lawns. So first off, first thing to come out of the bag is this uh, Kiss Lashes that came in the box, and it's the Looks So Natural in the pretty, it's the pretty one, the pretty model, or I don't know how to call them. Um, so basically, I like them. I like the glue because it came with its own glue. And I like the fact that it comes with like a, 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 it's transparent when you apply it, but when it's ready to actually put on your lashes, it turns into like a transparent bluish tint, which anyways, when it dries, it dries clear. But I like that because it kind of indicates when it's ready to uh, apply and you don't have to be counting seconds or approximately put these on when you think that the glue is ready and tacky. I like that, that it has that color indication. These are fairly uh, light. I liked that the thin, the, the band is very, very thin on them. So I like that they're very comfortable. They were, a they are a little bit longer for, for my lash lashes, but that's, you know, something that we all have to customize to our own desire and needs. Um, I like them and a lot of people commented that they looked very natural, especially on me. I thought that they, they look very dramatic on the box, as you can see right there. Well, I think they look dramatic because I have small eyes and I hardly have any lashes. And the comments that I got were that they looked very natural, that they couldn't tell that they were fake. So absolutely love them. I did like them and if I do buy more lashes, it would be these kind. Was the Kaylin. Now, it says, as you can see, it claims to be a tinted lip balm. First of all, I know this is not the full size um, because, as you can see, it's half empty. I don't know why they call this a lip balm because there's nothing balm about it. It doesn't moisturize. It doesn't leave my lips feeling hydrated. So, I don't know why they call it a lip balm. Actually, these make... None of my lips look dry, but they do have a very dry feeling where it'll apply, it'll make every single line that you have in your lips just come out and make them even more noticeable. So I definitely uh, do have to wear like a, a my EOS lip balm or something underneath to make them smooth and to keep them hydrated because this dries them out a lot. Um, it doesn't chap them, but it just looks very dry and cracked, even though they're not cracked. Um, but I do like the color. The color does last a very long time, and a very little goes a long, long way. I mean, I've used it several times. You can kind of see the markings there, hopefully. And even though it's just a sample, it I think this will last a long, 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 long time. I would not buy this again, actually. I wouldn't buy it at all. I think retail is $20. I think it's overly priced, especially because there's nothing bomb about it. And I just was, I actually cannot find, and I'm upset with me if I lost it, and I think it fell in my car. But I liked it a lot. It's the Loli Tint from Benefit, and it was in the Radiant Orchid, I think. And I'll post a picture right here so you know what I'm talking about as I talk about it. I enjoyed it. Um, I probably will buy a full size just because how versatile it is since you can apply it on your lips as a slight tint um, or you can you don't have to even use it by itself. You can do it on top of a, a gloss uh, or mix it with a gloss or with a lipstick and it just turns your lipstick into a different color. Actually I used it on top of the of the Kaylin um, color and I just love the color that came out. First little because you can use it as a um, a cheek color or um, I think that's 
um, I have a brain fart like I said I'm doing it over lunch and I'm starving love it you can use it on your lips I actually had it in my emergency bag which these stop cutting your lawn right now anywho it's a little bit watery and runny but it's it's pretty good it I mean I don't have really much any complaints except that too bad that it came in that little itty bitty bottle and I wish it was bigger. The item that was in my Ipsy bag was the Urban Decay, the Velvet, wait is, yeah, the Black Velvet. What can I say? I do like that it is very smooth and gentle. Um, since it's a product for the eye, that's what I want glides on very easily I don't like that I do notice even though I'm using the urban decay primer potion um, around my water area and you know just right above my um, my lash line it still seems to kind of rub off so for the price how pricey these liners are I wouldn't I don't know I haven't tried other colors but this one in particular the black velvet I notice it does kind of rub off a bit so so yeah and right now I'm actually wearing on the waterline but not um, not this one I'm using the, the just the regular black um, but yeah mm, I wouldn't buy this one I like the color I like how intense it is I just don't like I don't know if it's the formula on this particular liner or what but it kind of rubs off a lot mousse color and it's from city color and it comes in white gold if it will focus and I had mentioned it in my other video where I was using it or when I did my unbagging if somebody wanted to see and I'm sorry I took forever to do this video but I'll show you here what the actual color or what the product looks like as you can see I have been using it and let me just get in closer so you can so you can see it does have like that whipped consistency it's very very thick actually I've never used a mousse before this one let me show you here a swatch of the color see it kind of looks like I don't know spackle or something but the color is very pretty look at that it truly is like a white gold and then the more you rub it it turns into like a greenish you can't see it on camera but kind of tends to look kind of greenish goldish sometimes but look at that it's a very pretty color I did enjoy this product um, I've never seen it anywhere though like in stores so I don't know where I could get this so, this is the final review of my products for the April Ipsy Glam Bag Beauty Rocks I hope you guys liked it took so long to do this video that look what arrived already in the mail it's my May Glam Bag so, do you guys want to see a little sneak peek of it? Ta-da! Nope. How about you watch the next video and I will show you what came in my Ipsy May Glam Bag. Oops, I showed too much. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. See you in the next one. Comment, rate, subscribe. Any questions down below. Bye.